Hi, Taurus. This is Just with your uh, February 2020 general reading. Hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. Uh, Taurus, it looks like some of you are better now, right? You're a little bit better than you were yesterday or days prior, but you're not. You may feel like, OK, um, I'm all right, but I, I'm not going to say sorry or I'm not going to accept your apology. Uh, some of you definitely feel a little bit better about your decision to move forward when it comes to something with career. Um, even though it may not be the best timing for you to do it, because some of you may have to give up like you may want something right with your job and your career this sort of thing but it's almost like you kind of have to make nice you kind of have to kind of you kind of have to let go of some type of control or you may have the upper hand you may have to let that go because while you're approaching it in that sort of way it's going to hinder your movements forward but if you just kind of let go of it uh, but remain in control of self, right? Which is what you typically, that's all you really can control. Um, I feel like you find you're happy. You find your contentment in your work environment. So there's something about, you know, letting go and letting God after there has been this time of approaching it in a very um, defensive sort of way, almost to a point of paranoia or, or overt concern, stealing yourself, gaining some form of wisdom in the stillness and having to retract those steps and understanding, oh, okay, things aren't working and moving forward or they won't unless I approach it in a way that I know my work. I know, you know, um, I know I'm going to be okay anyway and it's not my job to um, save the world. Does that make sense? Um, or fight for something that's not my fight to fight for. And now you find you're happy again. Um, that doesn't mean that you're going to be everyone's friend. <laughs> doesn't mean, and it doesn't mean that you're going to tell anyone what's been going on. Or how did you come to this conclusion? Like you're going to keep a lot close to your vest. Um, but I feel like you know enough now. And, and you know enough now. You don't need to ask any more questions. You're not looking to make everyone okay with, you know, why you said what you said or why you're doing what you're doing at why you're taking on the why you're taking it on the way you are it's like you're accepting that something has ended however it was done whether it be it was disastrous it was a disaster or um you had to fight your way through it you're on the other side of it and it's like okay fine some of you could be more clear about where you're moving to and it's like damn it i don't have enough money or you know how am i going to make this all fit you know, do I leave this job in order to, you know, move where I want to move? Do I take my kids out of school? Like there's something about knowing that it needs to happen, but it not being the complete ideal situation. Kind of have to just wait. The best thing for you to do if you choose to wait, it would it would prove positive and not try to force a circle into a square and just let it be because everything will fall into alignment the proper time. Life seems to slow down and I don't feel like you find yourself kind of waiting around very much. Money may also feel like it's not, um, there's the security isn't there as much. You may have to pay some taxes and some you may owe, you have to pay. Um, or there is expenses coming up with children, that sort of thing. But whatever this is, you're going to deal with it. It's either you or the father will come jump, join in, your dad, your mom. Someone is going to come in and they will help, right? They'll do what needs to be done. So if any of you are in a, a lull period um, with money, you just feel like, you know, I can't do it all. Like you will have someone there to help you. I mean, I get a male energy. It could be dad, it could be a you know, father figure, some type of male energy that will come in and um, fill the gaps. When it comes to love, well, damn it, somebody where it was unrequited, you guys cannot get on the same page and there's an overcoming of the heartbreak, the pain, the disappointment that things just, you know, you guys are just not meant to be. Someone was trying to contact you or you them over and over and over again. And finally, this person was like, you know what? It's fine, whatever. Fine, you know, whatever. You may have had to tell someone over and over again, no. 
that's fine. Oh, you finally answered the phone or you're not answering the phone. You, you've made peace with it. It's like, okay, yeah, no, I'm not even going to accept your apology. I'm not, no, no, you're just not feeling it anymore. And, you know, you may have lost your control over with this person. You know, you may have had to give them a what for. And I mean, you gave them a what for. And now it's like, now you want to act right. You know what I mean? Now the person kind of wants to make amends or have closure and you're just like, no, I'm done. So you're just like, I'm done. So you single tourists, you're, you're you know, after a tireless uh, effort on someone else's part to try to reach out to you, they kind of are finally giving up. Couple tourists. You're well, you know what? For some of you, you are making someone feel the way perhaps they made you feel. You know, caring is going to be hard. <laughs> oh, you're not in the best place. <laughs> Pity. Oh, you have money woes and mm, sorry. Mm, sad. Oh, you haven't been able to sleep since we. Mm, not my fault. You know, it's it's like wh what they're expecting from you is not what they're going to get. You know, it's pity. What do, you mean? It's, what do you want me to do? You know, it's that type of thing. You know, it, it's like you're almost not almost some of you are you know gleeing in the fact that this person you know can't get you back they don't know what the hell is going on they don't know are you just have you just left have you moved on with someone do you just not want them back anymore like will they ever be able to try to right their wrongs with you will you ever accept them back in their in their life in your life you know is is the apology not enough you know do they not do you not find value in them anymore like this person is kind of going through it they're not sure what the hell's going on and you're happy you're happy you're like good now now you know <laughs> Uh, some of you are not being so quick to you know make this right and and hear someone out and you know um, allow this reunion to just come back together just because even if there's children involved you know children involved can get someone's foot in the door absolutely it can definitely get you to hear them out because you guys are very rational and practical and you can leave your emotions at the door when it comes to responsibility and what is right and i do feel like that's going to be more of the focus so someone's foot can get in the door if it's about children but you know there is a need and a want to want to reconcile and fix whatever the problem has been whatever this fight is someone's aim is to fix it make it better make it right not you know you know stay in that place and for some of you it could very well be you especially if you're a tourist man it's like you're wanting to make this right you, you don't want to be stubborn anymore you may realize hell that's not getting me anywhere let's try to figure out how we're going to work this out as base as, as best as we can it's kind of what it looks like to me um and I feel for some of you, you know, it could have something to do with finance. If it's not about, you know, um, just a love connection, it could be in your relationship about money. Someone spent money, someone lost money um, and wasn't being honest about it. And quite frankly, probably will remain lip, you know, lipped about it. And I feel that someone may not be um, divulging how much a, a car cost or how much this move is going to cost how much is a new place is costing them how much you know the travel expenses is costing like there's something about cost and someone not feeling like you know they're spending too much especially if it has to do with child support that sort of thing children there can be like i'm spending too much money on these kids or i don't want to spend anymore i don't want to do anymore and you know i'm always the person doing i don't get it back to me it could be that you know uh so i do see where there's it's not about you know commitment it could be about money and finance and someone having to pull the weight of another person all the time and this person if that is the case they're not sorrowful they feel like that's what you're supposed to do uh, you know and it could have gotten pretty nasty because it's almost like i get again someone holding sex back someone's holding intimacy which which drives someone crazy someone is holding back sexually and then the other person is so frustrated they don't know what to do i feel like if they have been they're going to get a 
control of that. They're going to realize, oh, so, you know, you're doing this again. You're going to use this against me again. Um, and so I feel like there is a needing to reconcile and deal with the issues in this relationship between you and your person. There's a family here or soon to be a family here. Some of you are preparing to get married and there's a lot of money being spent on a wedding. And someone is like, I'm not giving out one more damn penny to this. It's like the, the bank is closed. The shop is closed. No more. And that could be we're parents and we're financing our child. No more. They're going to school. No. I have to. It's closed. And that's it. And I mean, somebody's putting their damn foot down. And it kind of got nasty before it got to a place of like, look, this is, this is you know, we can't go on this. Like, we need to. But it got nasty before it became just, you know, something that the two of you needed to kind of understand and get on the same page about. OK, um, if this is a full breakup and a, or a breakdown and someone has been very stubborn and communication extremely slow. And I feel like still someone doesn't want to be single. So does, someone doesn't want completely for this relationship to be over and to end. Even though they may act like a claim like, oh, it's over. I'm letting this go. I, you know, I can't. Da, da. They, you, you're going to see just how quickly somebody changed their stripes. And all of a sudden now they want to, you know, work this out. and Or they want to communicate with you again. So things are going to change. If you haven't been hearing from someone. If there's been like this little stagnation period. That's getting ready to change. Um, and I feel, and that probably has a lot to do with, you know, Mercury is starting to come out, like, I think March 6th. So in the extent that we're going to look deeper into this relationship and see if you have staying power. Yes, someone is pretty stubborn, but they may concede to, to be back with you or to try to work this out. And we're going to find out what are the challenges? How do they feel? What do they want to tell you down the side? What secrets have they been keeping? How's it going to work out? Um, and what's going to happen long term? You know, not just now, but down the line. Is this even going to work out between the two of you? We're also looking at Taurus singles. So in the description box below, it explains everything that we look at. If you're interested in that, click that link. If you would like something personal, you can click the link to my website. Set something up for yourself. If you would like to share, please do so in the comment section below. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care, Taurus.